the same uh, group of uh, English students, uh, they put this question as well. Which group? <coughs> Which came this morning? Ji. The question is, uh, who has <laughs> created Satan? If it is Allah, then with what purpose? Definitely, Satan is created by Allah because he is not uh, everlasting. So he was created, but he was created out of fire. And man was created out of clay. So the difference between them is that fire burns and destroys and disintegrates. And the clay is a symbol of growth. Everything grows out of wet clay. So that is the most beautiful conversation recorded by Allah between the Iblis or Shaitan and uh, Allah. When Allah asked Satan to submit to Adam, he refused and said, why should I submit to something inferior than I am? So Allah inquired, how? In what sense is he inferior? He said, I am made of fire. So I can burn everything grown out of clay. But the clay cannot burn me. So in a strange sense, it was a strong logic. But at the same time, it was proved wrong because whatever fire burns and however much it burns, still the greenery cannot be removed altogether. And the world is green and verdure, an indication that the fire has only a temporary effect on, on things and not a permanent role. So that is one reason why Allah created Shaitan to prove him to be wrong and also to try to mislead Allah's people. And Allah gave him warning that whatever you may do, bring your horses, bring your men and try whatever you may all you try will fail and those human beings who belong really to me were a body you will have no ghalba over them so this is the reason why Satan was permitted to do whatever he likes to prove to the world number one that Allah's servants remain to be Allah's servants and number two that uh, they should be tried. If there were no Satan, everyone would have become like an angel. So what was the purpose of creation? purpose of creation was meaningless because there were already angels in the world. In the universe there were angels who listened to Allah and did whatever was commanded to them. So what was the reason why man was created? Man was given both the potentials of doing good things and doing bad things. So for good things, angels always tell man to do this, which is always right. There had to be someone to tell the man to do wrong things. So angels tell the right things and uh, Satan does the wrong things and it's a very interesting subject that Satan does not have to be from outside there is not one Satan who runs everywhere and coaxes people to do bad things at the same time Sallallahu has resolved this riddle for us once he said that in every man's blood Satan runs. There is no question 
of a man without being Satan in his blood stream Satan runs so Sahaba the companions of the Holy Prophet وسلم, were amazed and they said even in your blood he said yes even in my blood but my Satan has become a Muslim it means that he never coaxes me to do bad things so my heart is so so totally inclined towards Allah that the voice of rebellion never rises from my heart so this is the reason why Satan is created <coughs> authority report that sometimes thousands of miles a wood is, uh, uh, catches fire. Everything burns to ashes. That is satanic. And when everything turns to ashes, from under the ashes, the greenery reappears. And sometimes, some experts advise that fire should be should be lighted by human beings themselves to cure the soil of some untowards shrubs which are bad. So the fire kills them all together and destroys them. They are satanic rebellious shrubs. They are destroyed and they don't re reappear. But the gentle growth of greenery always reappears. Satan has no supremacy over it. <coughs>